Hey, it's Michael Lofito, author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, and soon to be released, Secrets of Top Luxury Agents. In this video, I want to share with you a strategy that you can use if your market is really tight. There's not a lot of listings out there. Maybe you have sellers that are on the fence. They'd like to sell. Maybe they're downsizing or moving up and they just don't like what's available. So this strategy would be perfect if you have those scenarios. And even if you don't know of those scenarios, you should still teach this strategy because you might have people come out of the woodwork and that's called the reverse contingency the reverse cont contingency i want to talk to you about it so you have a, a seller that would love to sell for whatever reason but they're not happy with what is currently on the market what are their options well you could put a home on the market and disclose of course your situation if there's a buyer you would let them know that the sale is contingent on your client the seller being able to find a new home. So just like a home close contingency, when a buyer has to close on their home to buy, typically you might give two weeks, 30 days, maybe longer, give them time to get their home on the market and sell. Same concept, it's called the reverse contingency. Talk to your broker, talk to an attorney if you need help with the wording or some kind of rider you wanna to put together. But basically how it would work is you put a home on the market, you market it, you hopefully get buyers for the home and leads for you that don't maybe like this home but you can work elsewhere and if they put it under contract at that point you're sending you're showing your client properties you're door knocking it's good excuses to send some mailers to neighborhoods and say i have a buyer literally their homes under contract if you want to sell maybe have some flexibility maybe your buyer would still buy their home and let them stay in there and do some short-term rental be creative now what could be the possible objections for somebody buying your listing knowing they might not end up with the house well what keeps them awake at night well do i want to spend a couple thousand on inspections or, or whatever it might be. So address the elephant in the room. It'd be worth your sellers 2,000, 1,000, however much a home inspection is to tell the buyer's agent, hey, listen, hopefully it doesn't go this route, but if the deal falls apart, my seller breaks the contract because we can't find anything, we are in writing saying we'll reimburse you for the home inspection and maybe there's attorney fees. So again, is the reward worth the risk that's what you got to ask yourself as a seller, as an agent. Again, how do you get sellers off the fence? Maybe they're hesitant for the following reason. They, they're worried they can't find something. Well, the reverse contingency is the way to go. Again, any other questions, let us know. If you're getting value from this video, please leave us a like, leave us a review, and get on the list. Go to secretsoftopluxuryagents.com to find out more about the book launch, and as a thank you, we will offer you something special. Again, Michael Lafito, make it a great day and prove others wrong. Take care.